Are you looking to apply to an RP server or have you already joined a server discord but you can't find the necessary information you need? Are you thinking about applying but have no idea where to start? Maybe you're on console but you're not sure where to begin? Do you currently have an application in and are waiting to get accepted? Or are you already whitelisted and just need a little more info? Like what is 5M? Or how to find your Steam IO or Hex ID? Hey guys, it's Desh and if you're just getting started in RP, today I've got some more great guides for you. If you need help finding some basic info, for the application process or the RP servers or their server discords, as well as some install tips for those popular mods like 5M and RageMP. In this video, we will cover how to find your Steam IO and Hex ID, how to install 5M along with some troubleshoot tips and quick fixes, including the Epic Game Store, how to install RageMP, and we'll also touch briefly on console and the GTA forums. As always, timestamps can be found below along with the written guide if you'd like to follow along with that as well. All right, first, how to find your Steam IO and Hex ID. If you haven't already, this is one of the first things that you're gonna wanna know how to find, as a lot of servers will ask for it in the application process itself, while others will ask for it when you join their server discords. So here's how to find them. There are two sites that could be really helpful to find this information, so we're gonna go ahead and cover them both. By the way, in the written guide, I have the entire step-by-step -step process. If you wanna follow along with that as well, you can find it linked in the description below, along with links to the sites I'm about to cover. The first site I recommend is steam.io. You can go to steam.io and click on lookup. Here you can search by username, which may bring it up right away. But if you have a common username, make sure it's you. Check the avatar or you can use Steam. Make sure you're logged in. Then click on your username in the top right. Click on account details and on the left, you'll see your Steam ID. You could copy paste this into the search bar on Steam ID IO and click look up and it should pop up for you. Another site you can use is VAC Band. Just paste your Steam ID in the search bar at the top and it will bring up your different IDs along with your Hex ID. And here you can even see your status to check if you're banned, which I really hope you're not. You can also find this in the written guide below. Now we'll cover 5M, what it is, how it works, and how to install it, along with some troubleshoot tips and quick fixes for common issues. So what is 5M? 5M is a custom modification that allows you to do all the things in GTA RP. Not to be confused with GTA Online. 5M is what allows all the different roleplay servers to create custom cars, custom maps, weapons, and more. 5M allows you to play on modded multiplayer GTA server for things like RP, which is exactly what you see all the big RP streamers doing. They're using 5M. 5M keeps the original AI intact, so you can still see NPCs running around, aka the locals, along with actual players, aka other RPers. It is synced with Rockstar's network, so you're always getting the latest updates, which makes it arguably more reliable than GTA Online. And it's a standalone, meaning if you wanted, you could switch between regular GTA or GTA Online and 5M without getting banned, as it doesn't affect your GTA 5 installation. This likely will only affect you if you have some friends that play on GTA Online and some days you want to play with them and other days you want to jump on an RP server. And for that, you'll use 5M. By the way, 5M is free, so let's go over how to install it and how it works. The very first thing you'll want to do is make sure you own your own copy of GTA 5. You could buy it through Steam, the Rockstar Launcher, or the Epic Games Store. Next, you'll want to make sure you have enough space on your computer to download the 5M client. To find out the specs, go to the 5M website, 5M.net. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below. Here you could scroll down and see the system requirements. And I would recommend going with the recommended. Next, you want to click download client. Now, if you've got some extra time on your hands, feel free to read through the fine print. But if you're sitting there thinking, like, what is that? Yeah, one of the many Like, is actually, yeah. what the f is that? Then go ahead and scroll down to sure, I agree, and let it do its thing. Next, you'll probably get a pop-up that says something like, 5M needs to update. Click yes. And remember, whenever you want to launch 5M, make sure you have Steam open. Quick tip, if you're going to be playing often, I recommend pinning 5M next to Steam on your taskbar. This helps me remember to click on Steam first before opening 5M, but whatever works for you. Once you open 5M, you'll sometimes see a pop-up asking if you want to log in to your cfx.re account. And you can create an account or you could go to the top right and under account, you can link to your Steam or your console. 
Now click play and you'll see a list of servers come up you could join. Here you could search for RP servers, you could use the filter by languages option, or you could type in the specific IP of a whitelisted server you've been accepted on once you have access to that information. If you happen to be streaming, make sure you do not reveal the IP address of the server you are joining. Note that recent servers you've played on will show up on the 5M homepage when you launch it. And to be extra safe, you could also favorite servers by clicking the star icon for quicker access to avoid having to type the IP address every time. Now, if you try to connect to one of the servers and you get a connection failed notification, it's likely you tried to connect to a whitelisted server that you haven't been accepted on. By the way, if you're looking for some great public servers to join, I've got a whole list of the ones I recommend in the written guide linked below. If you're looking for whitelisted servers, I've got a great list of those as well. You may notice some of the whitelisted servers may say free roam, which basically means you can spawn cars, vehicles, similar to a V menu server. This may be something you're into, but again, if you want an RP focused server, I highly recommend applying to one of the whitelisted servers I discuss in the written guide linked below. And now for a quick fix for 5M through the Epic Games Store. If you own GTA 5 through Epic Games Store, and when you launch 5M with Steam open, it doesn't open, you could try this trick that seems to work for a lot of people. Go to Steam, Library, Games. Now click Add a non-Steam game to my library. Once you see a pop-up, click Browse. This will bring up your file browser. From here, click on Program Files, then scroll till you find Epic Games. Next, click GTA 5.eg store, BPS, install, play GTA 5.exe, open, then add selected programs. This should add play GTA 5 to your Steam library. Now when you launch 5M, it should work, but keep in mind, you may need to close both Steam and 5M first, then reopen them. Now we'll go over how to install another popular mod used on many roleplay servers, Rage MP. Once again, remember you will need to own your own copy of GTA 5 before proceeding. You could purchase GTA 5 from Steam, the Rockstar Launcher, or Epic Games Store. However, I believe for Rage MP specifically, which is what we're about to cover, you may need to own your copy through Rockstar, so keep that in mind. All right, here's how to install Rage MP. First, download the Rockstar Launcher. Create an account and log in. Next, download the Rage MP client. Note that you'll likely need to have the Rockstar Launcher open before Rage MP will open, similar to what we mentioned earlier with Steam and 5M. To help you remember to open the Rockstar Launcher first, once again, I recommend pinning the Rockstar Launcher next to Rage MP on your dock or taskbar. Next, open both Rockstar and Rage MP. Note these should be under Downloads and run them for them to appear on your desktop. When Rage MP opens at the top, you should see how many servers are available and how many players are online. If you're already familiar with 5M, once again, Rage MP works pretty similarly. Click on any server to join and note that it may take a few minutes as it loads the assets for that server. Now let's briefly touch on console and the GTA forums. For those on console, the GTA forums seem like a great place to start. GTA forums have no modded servers, but you can view how many people are on the server and how many comments have been left to get a sense of how active the community is. You can even search for RP if you're interested in RP servers specifically. You can also join discords and lobbies to look for a thriving community. The GTA forums can be a great resource for you if you're on console and aren't really sure where to look for other console players to do RP. Now, if you're looking for more tips like in-game settings, keybinds, basic emotes, commands, setup tips, and more, feel free to check out the written guide linked below where I cover everything you need to know to get you started in GTA RP. We've also got a community on Reddit, so feel free to join our GTA RP hub linked below. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, please like and share with others new to RP. And if you have any further questions, leave a comment below. I try to respond to every single one. By the way, if you ever want to catch me RPing live, feel free to pop into my Twitch stream over at twitch.tv slash dash please. I've also got some hilarious highlights you can find linked below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.